Welcome to this edition of Weekend Review. I'm Marlon Paley along with Ganem Hanna, and uh, we're here to give you the latest news of what has been going on in the past week here at the LLBN studios. Today is going to be a special report. Uh, it's a tribute, as a matter of fact, for one of our longtime members. Uh, Ganem has the details. Thank you, Marlon. With the saddest feelings and regrets uh, to report to you that a very key member of the LLBN family had passed away earlier this week. Dr. Art Morgan uh, it has been a dear brother, friend, uh, uh, colleague in this ministry from the early days of LLBN. And uh, we'll miss him greatly, but his contributions uh, has helped move LLBN in, in a positive direction, and he will always be remembered for the great things he has done. As a matter of fact, today we're going to share some history with our viewers and our friends on this day to kind of learn about Dr. Morgan. Uh, Dr. Morgan uh, was invited to be a treasurer for the LLBN for, in its early days of development, and uh, he He's actually by trade and studies a dentist and a very good one. Uh, he served many roles with the School of Dentistry here at Loma Linda. And uh, Dr. Morgan accepted to be a treasurer, but he made it very clear. He said, I'm not a finance person. Uh, I'm not sure why you asked me to be a treasurer. Uh, well, I replied back to him. The reason that was because he was a very trustworthy individual. He's an honorable man and someone we felt he would be perfect to fit the role of a treasurer, and he lived to that model very well, Marlon. You see him in the early days of LLBN working at the office all alone, basically preparing uh, statements for deposits and you know uh, stamping the checks as they came in. He was always happy reporting. We got a twenty, we got a thirty dollars, we got a fifty dollars, we got a hundred dollar, and along with his deposits, he often went into his own pockets to add his own money to the contributions. He was a guy that was always faithful. I would uh, stop by the studio anytime, day or, or night, and Art would be there. That's true. Uh, he's first one there, oftentimes, and uh, and what what a great spirit that he uh, uh, brought to the service of. Uh, the LLBN ministry. He did indeed. He was a very gentle man in all his ways, believed in serving others, and, and ultimately uh, he demonstrated that by his commitment to LLBN for over 15 years of, of uh, uh, contributing his time and energy. Um, he actually, uh, a story, he kind of completes a story about our building project. When we went to purchase our first building, uh, we had a hard time getting money or approved for any credit from anyone. So he happened to be on a morning at a restaurant having a breakfast with one of his closest friends, talking about my frustrations and disappointment and not being able to get a loan to purchase a property we had nearby. And lo and behold, a retired uh, Air Force captain overheard Dr. Morgan talking about the issue. Um, he walked to him, introduced himself, and uh, he said, I'm sorry, but I couldn't help overhearing your story. Um, how much exactly do you need? This was a total stranger, a Catholic gentleman. And Dr. Morgan shared with him some of the details. And the retired uh, Air Force gentleman said, well, let's bring your president. Let's sit down together. Let's talk and see how much you need. And that led to a very sweet and positive relation with this gentleman. Uh, who ended up loaning us the money at a very, very low interest without equity, without collateral, without any paperwork other than a handshake. So uh, praise God how the Lord used Art Morgan at that time, at that moment, that day, to serve a greater purpose for the minister of LLBN. He used him to be in the path of this gentleman, uh, Rex, who was a retired Air Force gentleman, to end up with the funds that led to uh, purchasing the building and, uh, um, and remodeling the building and became uh, phew, Marlin, it's a place where we had produced thousands of programs over the last 
12 years or so. Well, it became the anchor point for LLBN. Well, uh, it's our operations, uh, all of them, like you said, for a, a number of, of, of years and still in service today. In fact, it's going to be in service for uh, the foreseeable of future, going to be part of the brand new complex that, uh, well, maybe I should not spill the beans yet about no. the building project. Uh, well, the building is going to be on the mm -hmm. property next door. We, we will, in upcoming weeks, share more mm -hmm. details with our viewers on... But let's go back to the story of, of uh, Art. Uh, this guy is so loyal uh, to the University Church and uh, to uh, Bill Lovelace's ministry. I think that's uh, a uh, driving force uh, to... Uh, keep him involved as long as, as he was. Actually, that's an excellent point. Before the days of LLBN, he was for over 15 years a volunteer at University Church. And then as LLBN birthed, he joined us in mm -hmm. uh, initiating LLBN. You see here, he's working on the building. He was a man who did everything and everything. Uh, title didn't mean anything. He uh, took it on himself to use his personal vehicle repeatedly and his tools and his energy to help advance any part of LLBN. As you see him here, uh, cutting the wood and going at it. And that's just a small example of what he normally does. Um, Jack hammering, as you see here. I mean, after all, he's a dentist, so <laughs> he's good with jack hammers. <laughs> that concrete is just a big tooth, isn't it? <laughs> it seemed like it, but he was very handy man. Mm -hmm. uh, then you see him here uh, after some of the completion of the studio, standing there celebrating a proud moment uh, of LLBN advancement. He brought in his vehicles to drive in parades to highlight the name of Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Um, he went to conventions and exhibited oh, he loved with to us. Work. He loved to work that booth. There was just so, nothing beneath yeah. him, nothing above him. Um, just ask, that's all you need. Ask from Dr. Morgan and he'll be there. Um, you also see him as a member of the board and the executive committee and the finance committee. He wore many other hats, uh, celebrating, um, well, wasn't really exactly celebrating, but this is one of our standard executive committee monthly meetings where we bring in all issues to the table. And, and uh, Dr. Morgan had really no limits what he does. Marlon, hot summer days, cold winter days, he went to the safe deposit box uh, or the mailbox at the post office, collected deposits, took it over to Norm Meyer so he can process it for accounting. Uh, always happy, every single deposit. He I hardly ever missed a deposit without him calling me to say, this is how much we deposited, rejoice. Uh, and the more, and the number one thing Art was always interested in, sharing Christ's mercy and grace to all those out there who are watching. That was his number one goal, share Christ with the masses. And Dr. Morgan dreams and hopes and desire has been fulfilled through the ministry of LLBN and sharing the, the gospel with the masses. Uh, another board meeting was over at Carolyn's house. Uh, he's seen here sitting on the corner uh, of the room. Happy man, always satisfied to serve, uh, never wanted to be served. And uh, Brother Morgan, uh, we will really miss you greatly, but your legacy will live on with us for many years to come. And uh, many, many like you will be serving this ministry and advancing it to its next level. Well, as time marches on, we uh, grow to love and appreciate uh, all the volunteers from the administration where Art was serving on the board to uh, all the way down to uh, the ba most basic level. And uh, we consider you a part of this family, and so we know that you feel this loss as well. Uh, Art Morgan will certainly be missed, uh, but he will always be remembered fondly for his commitment and service uh, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In fact, uh, he served way, way be beyond uh, what he was supposed to. He just couldn't leave this ministry behind. Mm -hmm. He tried to retire for how many years? Uh, oh, Many, many, many years. Well, he never retired from us, mm -hmm. not from LLBN. No, that's right. That's he right. He kept on the, the, the march. Um, and and we, we pray for the peace and safety and comfort to his family as they go uh, through this time of loss. And, and, and it, it, it's a, a sense of loss for all of us. So uh, we, we leave him in God's hands. Well said. Um, allow me to read something from Revelation chapter 21, verse 1, 2, 
four and five. And maybe our director can throw this on the screen. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. And so they will be all his people new gathering around him in the second time at Marlin. Mm. And we will see our brother Art Morgan, our late brother Thomas Zirkel, our loved ones, our friends gathering with us in the, in the surroundings of our Lord and Creator Jesus. And we look forward to that day. Well, I have to say this to you. With loss always comes gain. And we have a very special announcement to make about a very, very precious gain to the family of LLBN. And Ganem, you know what I'm talking about. For you are a brand new grandfather. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I met all our volunteers. Indeed, I am. It's just this week, moment. just a, a, a day or two ago. That's right, so. baby Chloe. Let's, let's end on a high note there. Sure. Tell us about that experience, about being a grandfather. I mean, a father, again, brand new, except you're once removed now. Well, you never prepared me for this moment. <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. uh, what an amazing, what a miracle God demonstrating through all of our children who are kind of repeating the cycle of life by giving birth to a new generation, and the cycle continues. But what an awesome feeling to see God creation just kind of mm -hmm. right before your eyes. And now, we have to clarify, this is your daughter, right? That's, Nora, that's right. And her husband, Fane? That's correct, that's correct. And, and as you see on the screen, we'll give you a little snapshot of mm -hmm. baby Chloe, uh, which is my granddaughter, my first. I'm officially a grandpa, so is my wife, mm -hmm. is a grandmother, and now we refer to each other as grandma and grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> How cute. <laughs> so uh, praise God yeah. for, for can, him continuing mm -hmm. to bless his people on this mm -hmm. earth. And, uh, and one has to be, it's sad to think that people who have no faith could not acknowledge the power of such mm -hmm. marvelous creator that, that you see his work through the birth of new children, the plants, the environment, through each other, and they don't realize there is a master designer, a master creator, our Lord and creator, Jesus Christ. Well, I would just like to end with this. Um, you know, we, we have suffered a great loss uh, with uh, Art Morgan's passing, but our God is a God of life. As he brought life to Chloe and to life to the family of Ganem, so he will restore life to art uh, one day, and that day is not too far away. Won't you consider helping us take this message around the world to continue the message of Christ's healing ministry? Think about that and become not only our financial partner, but our prayer partner. This is your opportunity. So if you'd like to respond, there's a, a number to call, an address to write to, and an email address to explore. Consider it, and thank you for joining us for this edition of Week in Review. See you next time.